Shadrach Miti, KT News. In other news, Cabinet Secretary for Transport, James Masharia, has told Parliament the nationalization of National Carrier Kenya Airways is one of the options available, even as the airline attempts to push a controversial proposal to take over operations at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport from the Kenya Airports Authority. The chairperson of the Kenya Airways Board of Directors, Michael Joseph, said the Kenya Airways proposal was not a takeover bid, but a 30-year partnership with the Kenya Airports Authority to manage JKIA. The Cabinet Secretary for Transport, James Masharia, together with Principal Secretary Esther Koimet, appeared before the National Assembly Departmental Committee on Transport to explain a Cabinet decision to have Kenya Airways manage operations at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The proposal has met stiff opposition from various stakeholders, including the Aviation Workers Union. Masharia says the Cabinet Policy Paper aims to restore Nairobi as the civil aviation hub of choice in Africa and enhance Kenya's economic competitiveness. If you take the direct and indirect jobs which are created by a vision sector in this country is about 620,000 jobs, contributing 330 billion shillings in terms of GDP. How come KAA is not fully convinced? So it's not about Kenya airports being convinced or not. It is about them implementing government policy. I think my thinking is this decision is a way of rescuing Kenya Airways. We are trying to rescue the Kenya aviation sector. Uh, KQ remains a private entity and as long as it remains private we will think of it commercially. KQ is a, as of now even before you do any changes it is a quasi government institution why don't we then nationalize KQ and then we can talk about helping it, you know, these or merging even our national assets in terms of the airport to work together. Yes, maybe the final formula which will come out or solution, it you it you involve exactly what you're saying. The cabinet is not clear. We are waiting for the baby to be born to know whether it's a male or a female. <laughs> then I think we are in a very risky fishing expedition. Kenya Airways Management defended its proposal. So it's a partnership. It, we were not taking over JK, we were working together with JK for 30 years. We were private, but at the very end, today, without Kenyan taxpayers, we wouldn't be talking to you. Members were concerned that 14 expertise hired by Kenya Airways were gobbling 20% of the airline's wage bill. This has become a very competitive industry. We need very skilled people, experienced people, knowledgeable people to help us turn this, in, this airline around. Uh, I'm making 350,000 euro a year um, plus allowances. So um, I'm sorry, let me just calculate it. Uh, but it's, it represents around 4 million, uh, 4 million shilling a month. The 10 banks whose loans were converted to equity face scrutiny. Is, that, is it true, CS, that KQ is still paying interest to those banks? In order for the, the loans to remain as loans in the banks, of, in the balance sheets of the bank, of the banks, there had to be a little amount left in the balance sheet that was still paying um, interest. It is in public knowledge that the chairman of Kenya Airport Authority is the CEO for CBA Bank, which has interest in the KQ. The, last, the largest bank here is actually Equity Bank. But it would be good to clarify, yes. It's not, but these are issues affecting the people and they are on the public. And, and is it not true, CS, uh, CS that um, the chairman, K.A., is group CEO of CBA? Is true? And he's a chairman. So it's actually, we have not seen anybody from equity being chair of uh, K.A. The probe continues.